Enjoy your summer. Professor Reardon, question, please. Your question? Your question? There are rumors that you're planning a scientific investigation of Rose Red this summer, the Rimbauer Mansion, a sort of psychic field trip. Is that true? You are? Kevin Bollinger, class of 03. I don't recognize you, Mr. Bollinger. Is that because the group is so large, or could it be that this is your first visit to our happy family? <laughs> Actually, I'm a reporter for the campus newspaper. Oh, my sympathies, Mr. Bollinger. <laughs> Well, is it true, Professor Reardon, and if it is, are you planning on using departmental funds or college general funds to finance your latest spook hunt? As any regular attendee of these classes will tell you, Mr. Bollinger, I am extremely interested in Rose Red. Talk about it all the time. I have a picture of it on my office wall, not to mention one of Ellen Rimbauer. But as Professor Miller can tell you, I have filed no request for either general funds or money from the department to underwrite what you term a spook hunt. If you feel like asking him to confirm that, he's, he's right up there. A question of mine, Mr. Bollinger. Did Professor Miller perhaps suggest you stop by my class to pose your question instead of dropping by my office like a normal reporter? <laughs> Never mind, Mr. Bollinger. Let's consider the issue closed, shall we? But you never answered my question. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Exam next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. I'll see you then. <coughs> if I embarrassed you, Professor Reardon, I am sorry. Mm. Don't believe it, Mr. Bollinger. Carl Miller stuck a key in your back and wound you up, and it was his intention that I be embarrassed. I am not. Even if you're not planning on using college or departmental funds for your Rose Red expedition, won't you be using a lot of psychology department equipment, uh, a lot of very expensive equipment? In fact, haven't you already entered into an agreement with Stephen Rimbauer, the last remaining family member? Good afternoon, Mr. Bollinger. The knot behind his ear. The judge didn't believe him, and neither did the jury. He got 25 years. I think Harry Corbin may have been Rose Red's first victim, first male victim. There has always been a difference between the way Rose Red treats the ladies and the gentlemen. What do you mean, uh, exactly? This is the way Rose Red looked when it was completed in 1909. And in case your memory needs refresh, an accurate account of them. 23 since the end of the First World War. Well, to believe. Of course you do. Anyone would. But I assure you it is true. Five men and 18 women. What did you want from us, Miss Red? The sort of thing went out with high button shoes. Joyce, is there anything particular you'd like us to focus on? Oh, I guess just goodwill, good thoughts, each other. Mm, that's lovely. <laughs> Say cheese. Well, you have the cell phone. Right here. And you got plenty of film. Of course, I have plenty of film, but uh, I don't know if this is such a good idea. Well, don't tell me you're afraid. <laughs> no, of course I'm not afraid. It's just big. What if I get lost? Oh, Kevin, Kevin, you know, you're about to step out in the real world in just a couple of weeks. So that's where you're apt to get lost. But you nail this story. You can write your own ticket. I thought that's what you wanted. Why don't you come in there with me? Well, I do have a few things to do, like running my department, overseeing finals. <laughs> you just call me when you get the pictures, and either I or my wife will come get you. She can't stand that weird and bitch either. If they catch me in there, they're going to tear me apart. You know that, don't you? There's no reason why they should. If you're just reasonably careful. I guess. Ooh. 
Don't forget this. Well, it's just, uh, try and get a good picture of them being psychic. Professor Miller, I don't think step this is such a upper, good idea. Step upper, boy, just step upper. Professor Miller, you're a step away from stardom, dear boy. Just get the pictures. Larium kitchen tool shed back to our front. Oh, hey, I thought this house was empty. You would be Mr. Bollinger, I believe. The reporter. Yeah, I'm Bollinger, but how did you know? Come in, sir. You expected. Ma'am, I seem to have lost you. Ma'am? Is anybody here?
Okay, very funny, but I want to leave, all right? Let me out! Yeah. 